The history of this house is really quite amazing. Uh, in 1990, I um, came and sat on this land and bought this property uh, in 1999. And really the house wasn't so demanding or when I put it together, it just simply said, if you open the front door, make sure you can go all the way through the house, see all the way through the house to see the ocean. So that's what I did. And the main room is about 45 by 70, so it's really quite huge. And the whole house works from this area. Since it's in the middle of the house, it's really great. We've had a lot of weddings here, book signing ceremonies, definitely a lot of dances and, and different lectures. This is five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. And downstairs, there's three major bedrooms. Uh, one's called the Tommy Bahama. The other one is European, the third one's Oriental. You go into every room and it has its own motif and it touches you the right way. Each bathroom has its own separate coloring, flooring, marble treatment, bathroom treatments. As you come in the entry door, uh, about 20 feet in, you'll go to the left, and uh, that's where I have uh, the chef's kitchen, I call it, because you have all the major things you need. You have uh, a two oven, six burner with a grill, wolf oven, and that takes care of all your cooking needs. And when, then we have a sub-zero refrigerator, and that's against the far wall, and against the far wall when you come in. The reason I do like the, the major kitchen is because it works so well to the formal dining room, which we have a table that seats 12 people very easily, quite spacious. Another super feature as you enter the outside, it's a geode that was in the Smithsonian Institute to show just how great geodes can be. Now I'm gonna take you on up the stairs and when you get up from the stairs, if you turn right, you go through two pillars and you're gonna walk right into a, could be a semi-office library. And then the master bedroom itself is about 1,800 square feet. Half of that being where you sleep and the other half is a huge bathroom. The bathroom is, is really remarkable. It has like a eight, eight by four oval with a shower spigot in the middle, huge sinks, tubs, and then a large closet. And then also upstairs, it's another good room. It doubles as a bedroom or it doubles as an au pair room, but it's, it's really versatile. You're able to still have a nanny or au pair and, or have the kids and still keep your privacy. Overlooking the water, we have what's called a viewing deck. What's great about it is you're able to look up and down the coast and you feel like you're right on top of the water. And then we just happen to have a great large hot tub that you can sit in. What's super about this is that we're in a no-fly zone here because we're only about two miles away from a bird sanctuary. So they don't allow any of the helicopters to fly over this house, which is really important because most of the island of Kauai gets buzzed by helicopters. Yeah, and the final thing I built is our spa center, and that's uh, about 2,000 square feet. I built it in three different hexagons because for me, I didn't want a square and I didn't want a circle. As you walk into the first hexagon, which is for Pilates and for workout and for bike riding and staying healthy, or you can even make it you know, another sub-office down there if you choose to. The middle hexagon is closed into a shower area and a bathroom area and a dressing area. So the rarest thing is the third hexagon. It's about 600 square feet. It's a steam room. And this, the boiler was, was handmade, ordered from Germany, brought in, and three different pipes go into it, and it steams to about 106. And if you go out, continue out the door, you can go down the path to the sandy beach that we have down there and a nice place to swim. And if you come back up, we also have a hot and cold outdoor shower there for you to use. And then finally, I think one of the great assets down there, being a collective unit, we have an outdoor kitchen that's all set up with gas, so it's gas barbecue, and um, that's, that's pretty much it. Dreams are real. <laughs> they can happen.